right, now that we have uh, dinner opcodes and op operands on this, we're going to go ahead and code it. And we're going to open up HTML kit, and when we open it up to a blank page, you can see that we have HTML there that we must remove. So if you hold down the control key and press letter A, it selects everything, press the delete key, and it's gone. Okay, now we want to go ahead and add the JavaScript tags, and simply do that by going up to the tabs bar and clicking on objects and then going to the JS tag and that's going to put the JavaScript tag in for us. All right, first thing we're going to do is uh, tell the operating system to set aside places in memory for us to use and we do that with the VAR all lowercase um, keyword and we're going to tell it to set up a place in memory called M1 M2 and M3. Then we're going to use a semicolon at the end to say that this line ends and now we're going on to a new line. Well, the next thing we're going to do is actually these three uh, things over here, and that is input numbers into places in memory. And I'm going to say, well, I have a place in memory called M1, and I'm going to assign, and we use the equal sign, not as equals, but as assign to. Um, so I have a place in memory called M1 assigned to that place in memory, the number 3. Then semicolon, because we ended that line. Next, we're just going to say I have a place in memory called M2, and I want to assign to that place in memory the number 5. Semicolon ends the line. Next, I'm going to say I have a place in memory called M3, and I want to assign to that place in memory the number 2 and then semicolon to end that line. Now we're ready to go ahead and do the math because we don't have to do all these other steps that are required in assembly language. We can go right and do the math. And I say I have a place in memory called M4. I wish to assign to that place in memory what's returned when I take M1 and add it to M2 and then add it to M3 and then add, whoops, so I have those three places in memory that have the three numbers, 3, 5, and 2. It's going to add them together and then it's put that value which is going to be 10 and place it into memory location number 4. Now that's all well and good but I need to out output it so I can see what's in there and we're going to do that by placing it on a web page. And we're going to use the keyword document a document is an object of a web page and a, uh, associated with that document is a method called write which is simply a subroutine that prints out whatever is in the parentheses so I want to output whatever is in M4 so it won't put out it won't output the le letter M and the number 4 it's going to look in that place in memory and then output the number 10 now, the other thing I've forgotten to do is I need to put a semicolon at the end of this line saying that this is the end of that line, and a semicolon at the end of this one saying that it's. Biggest problem students have is putting a capital letter for VAR, that's wrong, to not ending their lines with semicolons, that is incorrect, or if I had made this a small m and then used a big m over here, that also would cause an error in my code. So now that we have everything just the way it needs to be, I will come down to the bottom and press the preview tab and the number 10. 